Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is part six. Last time we just had a really nice exploration episode, very rewarding just to pick a path in Limgrave and to just roll with it. We found a new map piece, we found churches and artist shacks and outskirts and NPCs in the wild and putting markers on the map as we go and like realistically two hours of exploration we stayed largely in just this area largely just here and there's it's it's dense there's packed in with stuff and then oh this map ain't big enough for you nah i don't really like how massive this map is too small wish it was bigger there's an underground there's an underground segment that houses this which is where we ended up last time so we're currently in the Siofra riverbank and let's go and explore it because why not because the world's our oyster and we can go and check out whatever we want in this beautiful location like look at the lighting look at how gorgeous this 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 world is like Hey, I cannot believe it. Let's have a look at this glowing pillar. Of which we need to light a flame, apparently. Dark Souls. Bonfire lit. Okay, we've lit a flame with no... Oh, hang on. I was going to say with seemingly no visual change, but I... I think that just changed. Okay, light a fire. And one of those is now on fire. Uh, so we need to find seven more on this staircase. Alright, I guess that's the objective for the riverbank. Is we're going to go and look for fires to light. So we can light up this staircase. Let's have a walk through this area just to see if we can find anything. Any visual clues, maybe? The map of Siofra River uh, is quite handy. So that was not found on a traditional map thing. That was found on a dead body. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. It's just like layered over the top like that. That's just one segment. Look at that. That's just one segment of the underground that we just found. Look at all of these underground ruins. Okay. There's a tower there for us to get. Look at all of this. Like, what is all of this down here? What is this stuff? What do these holes represent? Where is it in comparison to... I'm just trying to overlay it over the map over the top. I don't think there's any locations or anything that really showcase it. Interesting. Okay. We found our lower map, which is nice. Let's walk up this staircase. Do you see how quiet it gets all of a sudden? See how quiet it gets all of a sudden? The the atmosphere and the 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 music this game is incredible. Look at the sound design. Look how tall that is. Look how high up that is. Look at that over there. Like... I bet that's where we've got to go. This has been so haunted. The Hallowhorn Grounds. The music in this area is so haunting. Is this about to be a boss? I'm expecting this thing to stand up and start attacking me. Okay. My first thought is if we light those pillars all aflame, something will change and something will happen in this room. That is my theory. <laughs> Um, look at those pillars. I mean, they eventually have to touch something, right? They eventually have to touch some sort of ground. We're already so deep 
underground. Like that elevator that took us down here was so long. And you look down here and there's more. Like how, I think, there we go. I think I can see the base on that tower there, potentially. How hollow is the world uh, of that Elden Ring is, uh, is set in? Like the planet, is it hollowed out with cities underneath it, you know? Yeah, I have a feeling that this thing is going to be tied to lighting those uh, those fires around the place. So I guess that's what we'll be doing. God. Areas like this that like look like that with like these platforms. I don't know if we'd be able to like... I don't know, there's just towers that look like we'd be able to be, be get in them, but there's also no way to do so. I've had this thought a couple of times throughout the playthrough. It's like, I wonder if there is a point or is something that you can do to upgrade um, Torrent's... Upgrade Torrent's jump. Like, if he can jump higher and do more than one double jump, you know? I'm wondering if that would be possible so you could actually get on his back and potentially go up places and, and open up that traversal. And I just love the freedom of choice with, with Torrent, as you can get on him and you can roam an environment until you find something interesting and then dismount and check it out on foot so you don't miss out. But you could also actively choose to just walk around on foot and go the slower route if you wanted. Ghost Minotaurs. Ghost Minotaurs. Lots of Ghost Minotaurs. What the fuck? He's throwing shit at me. Lots of Ghost Minotaurs. What the fuck? Anyway, you can choose to do it on foot. Or you can ride your steed. Uh, and explore it that way. And it, like it's, it's your choice. Obviously, you'll find things much slower without it. But, there you go. Okay, we have ghosts. Who are very good at reversing. Look at these things. Alright, how strong are they? I want to just get a hit on one so I can see. Okay, they're not that strong. Where am I? Oh, what the fuck? What, what just happened? Uh, why am I... What just happened? Okay. What was that sound? Okay, they're easily... They're easily stunned. They're easily stunned. Even with a light attack. That's good. Alright, I don't think they're minotaurs. They have, like, human-ish kind of faces. Oh! God, they've got human-ish faces, but they've got horns. Look at the fucking, look at his weapon with, like, elk antlers, like. Okay. Another thing that this game gives me the feeling of is how Sekiro handles your exploration. Is because uh, Sekiro doesn't have a traditional leveling system like Dark Souls or Bloodborne, and it levels based on enemies that you kill for prayer beads and big enemies that you kill for, um, for memories to enhance your attack power. Therefore, you can go anywhere in the world in Sekiro, uh, and it's kind of equal they're like there are enemy there are places that will be more challenging or something like that but it's like you have a bit more freedom to choose a direction that you go in and it's not necessarily going to be filled with enemies that have more health or are harder to hit that like go up with you know you need to level up before you come back here type deal uh this game still does have that where you need to level up and come back to some places like or you can brute force the tree sentinel if you want like i did <laughs> um 
but it also feels like you know we can go to an area like this completely different and unrelated to where we're trying to go or where the like the game might want to push us and we can still do damage to these enemies we can still survive and and explore you know what i mean so there's there's still a lot that we can that we can do uh we're not like we're not coming in here and going oh crap this guy one-shotted us we're not doing any damage to it uh, I mean, we might still come up against an area like that. But for now, we haven't. And here we go. So we do have the ability to go up to these places with Torrent. Let's have a look. Okay, that over there. That's a fire for us to light. So there's one. We can see that that's on that edge there. So we're going to put a marker. Uh, we'll just put a flag marker there for us. So we know on the map that that's where that is. I mean, we could place a beacon. I don't know how many beacons we can place. Oh, there we go. Five. Okay, you can place five beacons. Maybe because this is temporary, it might just be a better idea for us to beacons. Let's plant a beacon there. There it is, right for us. And then we can actually see that. Look at that. Cool. So we can... Well, now that we've placed that beacon, that's a good idea. Now that we've gotten up here, we can actually kind of see the land a bit. And see if there's anything that we can find. That one's standing out quite a bit. There's a, there's a lot here. There is a lot in here. There's another one. That's another fire one right ahead. But this is going to be the problem, is how far away is it? How far away is it? In, so in comparison, that one is closer to us than... Oh, they're like kind of similar. All right, they're similar in distance. So that is there. Therefore, I think that one is probably maybe here. Where's that beacon? Hmm. Alright, hang on. Let's put that here. I like that we actually get, like, a visual on where it lands. Okay, that's a little bit further. So it's, like, here. There it is. Oh, actually, that's in front of it, too. Oh, it might just be on this island. Beacon? There you go. Close enough. Alright. We've got two. Two beacons put down there. Two pillars. Um, Ghost Glove Hawk 3. Oh, wow. Okay. So you see what I mean when it's like being able to explore this stuff? Is how far can we actually go? Because now look, now we're... Yeah. Oh, someone's up there. Hello. There's someone there. That looks like the that looks like the Crucible Knight. You see that shield? That shield's what the Crucible Knight uses. I think that is, I guess for lack of a better term, that is a Crucible Knight over there. On a tower by himself. Staring up at like the you know, it's not necessarily the stars, but it's like, <laughs> like, what is this? What are all these shining things like in the air? You know, how do we get over there? Cause there's an item there. We can definitely get over there. I'm wondering if maybe, um, wondering if maybe nice, we can get like a, will a pillar raise out of the ground? Will a bridge extend? This makes me want to do like a, for science. And see if this is going to be like an invisible floor. Because we've had invisible floors in Dark Souls 1 and 3 before. We've had invisible floors. What if we just walk and we can we can just walk all the way to the end? You know, that's like... I feel like I'm going to die and I have runes that I don't necessarily want to get rid of. <laughs> I mean, we can at least come back to this area and get them back, but... 
I'm fully expecting to fall to my death right now. We're going to walk ahead and see what happens. We're going to see if this is maybe an invisible pathway. Look at that invisible pathway. Beautiful. That I love doing things in the name of discovery. <laughs> I'm like, we're going to fall to our death, but... On the off chance that we don't, that might be cool. Okay, so we have to find, we have to find another way, another method of getting across or over there somehow. Um, it is not an invisible pathway. Where do these ghosts, okay, they just, okay, so they just spawn in. They just show up and say, hi. You're in our house. Let's go get our runes back now. Ah, there's an item in the center there. There's an item in in there. How do I how do we get to that? Oh god, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. On that note, what I will say about this, by the way, is this, our lovely trusty steed, uh, Torrent, controls beautifully. Like, this is probably one of the best mounts I've controlled and used in a video game. It's very responsive. Very responsive. And, like, like I did just then, I saved my jump by jumping, and you can jump back. Like, the fact that you can just, you can do that if you accidentally go a bit too far, that's, that's really useful. If you almost fall. I think we can get to that item by going down this way. So we're going to do that while we're here. Uh, the risk of us losing our runes grows higher and higher by the moment. I think I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Now I think our runes are going to be... I hope our runes aren't going to be down there, but they probably are. I have a feeling that you might be able to, like, curl, like curve around the tower and get to an item. At the end of the day, I don't care about losing 6,000 runes. We can just get it back. But we're doing exploration. We're doing exploration. And seeing if we can get rewarded for our efforts. That's so cool. I want to know more about these people and what their deal is. Now, because there is an entrance on the other side to get in there for that item. That's what I'm talking about. You know? Yeah, the runes are down there. Okay. Now let's see, is there a pathway around the side here? Uh, not really. Alright, I feel like we're in trouble, but let's see. I mean... Probably a better idea to not do this with the horse. We have more control over this by foot. Okay, before I try and make a jump over a gap. There you go, we can jump down here and then get that item. just curved on the wrong right side. Okay. And exp exploration like this is encouraged because we took no fall damage from doing stuff like that. Dwelling arrow. We found a dwelling arrow. Let's take a look. Uh, 
Arrow in which the spirits of small animals are thought to dwell deals magic damage used by the Master Hunters of the Ancestral Followers. The Master Hunters of the Ancestral Followers. So are those Master Hunters the ones that we're looking at? Are those ghostly spirits that appear potentially? Maybe. Okay. We got some arrows. Potentially I might do that again. I will put out, make sure we have our longbow back. Now instead of bone arrows, oh, I don't really want to waste our special arrows right now. 95 magic damage is pretty good. 90, 95 magic damage, that just became our strongest arrow, even if it is of magical quality. But I'll leave that. Because obviously I, I like being able to use the bow on horseback, so that's why I've equipped that there. I thought I was safe to not jump, and then I just rode off. Ooh, hang on. Ooh. We can jump in this direction. Uh, I don't think that was going to get us high enough to get over there, unfortunately. But that would have been something. I mean, we can try. Oops. So, if we, like... Yeah, nah. My favorite thing about it, though, is there's nothing to lose. That's my favorite thing about it. There's there's nothing to lose when you um, take one of those big jumps because you don't take fall damage. <laughs> yes, dude. Running circles around them. Um, yeah, you don't take fall damage when you go into the big, the big jumps, which is good. They're very susceptible to things. That's good. Alright, let's light our next fire. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Whoa. Are those the magic arrows that I picked up? The, the dwelling arrows? Okay, we just got sniped. <laughs> I just heard like this noise and I was like, uh, that doesn't sound good. Okay, hold on a minute. I might have to do a drive by here to get my runes back. It's being protected. The fire is protected. Alright, let's take a different route to get there. I also don't know what these are. I can't lock onto them. Whoa. Oh, it disappears. It disappears after it discharges energy. Okay. For the runes, let's go. Oh, that is a massive arrow in my fucking asshole. Look at that, it's straight up through, it's straight through me. Okay. There were like two arrows. Two arrows will be death. There's a fucking massive arrow in me, dude. I'm stuck. Oh, shit. That arrow, man. Alright, as long as we approach... That's... <laughs> yeah. Alright, as long as we approach them, you can get them to... You can get them to take their, uh... Their... 
swords out, they're weapons instead. So we just need to approach them. Oh god, crab. Oh god, crab. Fucking crab. Oh my god, there's more enemies. Oh god, there's more enemies. Okay, this is not the right way to go because I've just angered things. Okay. Okay, we'll approach from the back. There we go. We'll approach from the back. Oh, sh <laughs> Okay, these ones don't have the magical arrows. They just have the normal arrows. God. Did this one follow me from somewhere else? Come on, I need a I need you to come down here so I can kill you so we don't alert the other guys because I want to stealth those ones. Why are you going to do this to me? Come on. Why you why why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You know that you can't hit me. Thank you. Walk off. Leave me. Leave. Okay, let's light this fire. There's another flame. I'm gonna quickly look at this melted mushroom thing. Let's read this description. A mushroom that grows in the false night. In the false night, in and around the eternal city. It drips with a vicious fluid that behaves much like oil. In and around the eternal city. So is this the eternal city? I thought the eternal city was going to be in the sky. Turns out the eternal city might be below. Alright, we can remove this beacon now. Because we've got that one. We've got another fire lit. Let's avoid the electrical bowls. Because they're angry. Ladder to climb. Oh, hello. Got a ladder to climb. Bullied. They give you thin beast bones. Interesting. Oh shit! There's another one. gonna pick a pathway and roll with it. We'll need to comb through this area a bit more later. There's a couple of areas that we've been to that we need to do the same sort of approach for. There you go, there's another fire piece. Ah, oh, there's a side of grace over there and another fire one here. There you go, there's two. Okay, these are relatively easy to find. Oh, that did much less than I thought it would. <laughs> that did so little damage. It did nothing. Okay. Alright, so there's a Lost Grace, two fire things near where we died. That's good. <laughs> Alright, so we'll run around the back here. We'll run away from the crab, and we'll run over the back here. Oh shit! I was, I was looking at something else in the distance trying to confirm something, but I'll confirm it later.
giant flower in here. So many land oct octopuses. Ooh. Never a secret behind a waterfall, is there? Are our runes up the top? Our runes are indeed up the top. I really wish that there were like the death blows, <laughs> like stealth death blows in this game. So you could do a one hit kill from behind instead of just be it being a backstab. Oh. Guys, I think I just missed Sekiro. <laughs> Get our runes back and let's avoid that crab. Let's try and get to this site of Lost Grace. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Lost Grace discovered. Worshippers Woods. Okay, the Worshippers Woods. Let's light these two fires. So I feel like with these lightning balls you just have to dodge their energy and then they'll dissipate. might be able to get away with not even pissing them off. But it's waiting like right there. You can't target them or anything, so they're not necessarily enemies, but they're more like just environmentally they're in like an environment trap. I'm getting pretty close to it. Up oh, there you go. Okay. So it does have like there is a stealth there's a stealth thing about it. There you go, they disappear. So as soon as I stood up, it, like, recognized me as being there. There you go. So you just have to avoid getting hit. Avoid getting hit, and then they'll, they'll disappear. No longer a problem. Alright, let's go over to this next fire. Light this one up over here. I love how they're literally just the Dark Souls 3 crabs. Straight out of Dark Souls 3. I was unfortunately dismounting, so that was very <laughs> bad timing. Look at these weapons, though. I got stuck! <laughs> I thought I could make that jump a bit higher. Fortunately not. Oh god, crab. Hi, crab. Crab just defying growth. Climbing. He just fucking just goes. Crab is just like, I go where I please. Alright, light flame. Light flame. Oh, hello. Guys, I'm sorry. Just need to get through here. I was trying to see if I could jump over you, but apparently not. Okay. How many have we done so far? I think we've lit... I think we've lit four.
Let's stay in this area for now, otherwise we're pushing too far ahead. Because I don't know if there will be fires down there. It seems stands to reason that there would be, but we'll see. Oh, hang on. I think if we go up there, we can drop down onto another platform and then go into that room up there. Hold on. There's still more for us to do up here. I love this horse. I love this horse. It makes exploration so nice. Like, so, so nice. Oh, I was wondering if I'd be able to break its stance by being, like, just overly aggressive like that. Didn't work, though. Unfortunately. I was like, maybe we could just be, like, way too aggressive. As long as it's not doing that attack or it's, like, bracing itself with its arm, you'll be... You'll be fine. Okay, so from here we can drop down. And go around here. Golden rune. We are sitting on a whole bunch of golden runes as well, like a lot of level ups and a lot of money. <laughs> uh, we'll level up at our next grace as well because we've got enough to do so. Okay. Where is this? Oh, this is above the flower. No, it's not. But there's music. Oh. It's one of the merchants. And he's actually playing the instrument that he has. Treat them with... Uh, I'm going to treat them with kindness. Don't attack them. This one doesn't have a, a mule with him. You wouldn't think an instrument like that would be capable of making such beautiful sounds. Considering it looks to be a two-stringed instrument. Customer. Abandoned merchant. Wow. A Chotel, a curved sword with a spinning slash ability. Curved sword with a severely hooked blade. Its attacks can slip through an enemy's guard. Made to hunt down humans, this weapon requires high dexterity to wield effectively. Dexterity of 19. We can actually wield this. And it's got D deck scaling. I'm actually quite interested in this weapon. Could be good. Does less damage than what we've got right now, but interesting. A larval tier. Oh, hang on. Material needed by Renala to grant rebirth. Who's Renala? Queen of the full moon. Oh. Oh, yes. Renala, queen of the full moon, which is what... Um, What's his name? Uh, Gideon Ofnir, the All-Knowing, told us. Gideon Ofnir, the All-Knowing, told us about Renala. Core of a creature of mimicry known as a silver tear. As much a substance as it is a living organism. Material required by the amber egg cradled by Renala, queen of the full moon, to birth people anew. Being born anew allows the reallocation of attributes boosted by leveling up. You can respec your character. That's really cool. So the amber egg cradled by Renala, queen of the full moon. Now they told us about this. Uh, Gideon told us about this information that Renala is not a 
demigod, but it was her husband that was and left her the power or like the egg or something like that. I I think I recall. Also, um, Queen of the Full Moon curdling an egg just makes you think of um, the Ring City DLC from Dark Souls 3. Uh, let's buy that as well. I mean, we've got runes to spend. So there you go. I was like, hey, we got stuff. Nascent butterfly, an arcane butterfly with translucent wings. This butterfly appears as if it's just emerged from its cocoon for its entire life. Uh, 17. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 17. You can make soap, oil pots, or a roped oil pot. And then 18 is dappled cured meat and dappled white cured meat. Uh, I'm going to buy the Chotel. I'm going to buy the Larval Tier. That made a sound effect when I did that. Um, and you sell three Stone Sword Keys. Oh, We haven't found many places to use them at this point, and we have some, so I may as well... We have two. And there's one place that I know, which is at, right at the beginning of the game, that we could use one. That's all. Um, yeah, we're, we're sitting on some runes that we can cash in ourselves if when we need to level up, so that's fine. Goodbye. Till next time. Okay, so there's a merchant in this place. As a reminder, so we know that he's here, we'll put our person marker right on top of us so we know that there's someone here to come back to. Ah, and here's the, the flower. The hefty beast bone. Oh, shit. Here's our hefty beast bone. Oh, that's a lot of health. But I know that you're just going to do that bullshit. Wait for the pollen to stop, and then we'll head in there. <laughs> Am I still? I don't have fire arrows anymore, do I? Oh, actually, I could use my torch for a torch attack. Oops. Uh, I'm stuck inside of it. I'm stuck inside of it. I was. St I was stuck inside of it, you piece of shit. <laughs> I was stuck inside of the fucking thing. It wouldn't let me move. I got Venus fly trapped. God damn it. <laughs> there you go. Alright, well at least we know how to get in there. Finding our way to a merchant was very cool. So... Got a new weapon. It's much worse than what we've already got, you know. But it could be fun to use. Oh shit, Dismounter. When did we get that? When did we get Dismounter? This curved greatsword wielded by the brawny swords of Caden combines the blade of a scimitar with the heft of a hatchet. Oh, I didn't even notice that we got that. Alright, well, at least we know that... There's a merchant up there that you can get to via that pathway. But to get to this flower, we don't need to do that same path again. We can just go around here, because we glanced that before. To be honest, you could probably just push through you you could probably just push through the poison, to be honest, and just continue to cleanse everybody. It wouldn't be that bad. I 
Okay, the opening for that just seems super small. The opening for that is super small. Poison Bloom and Miranda Powder. Sweeping Stone. Dude, it makes you- if you could get up onto this one, which isn't on fire, you could just jump right in there. Ooh, actually, hold on. Two, two of these aren't lit at the moment. I wonder if these are tied to the fires we're lighting instead, because we've lit we've lit four, and there's four lit on the walls, but then there's also two down here. I'm just like the fires that we're lighting obviously tie to something. I feel like it's obviously related to this staircase. But I haven't checked on it since we've lit the other three fires, so maybe I'll just quickly check it out and see if those pillars actually are on fire. Let's take a look. Oh! God, those arrows really have some range on them, don't they? Holy shit. Yes. Oh, we've only lit... Oh, no, there you go. There's... Yes, okay. So we've lit we lit. We lit them. So let's find, let's find some more. One, two, three, four. We need to find another four. Let's go around this side. Actually, no. Armorer's Cookbook 6. Nice. Oh. Let's summon some enemies. Armorer's Cookbook 6. Preserving boluses. Which are those things that cure the rot. this down here. Oh, crab. Crab. No thanks, crab. They're an enemy I, I never don't mind completely ignoring. Oh, this is where we came from. Or is it where we came from? I can't activate the map right now. Is that because we're in combat? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is where we came from. Because that's... yeah. Okay. Oh god. I <laughs> should just jump on the crab. Alright, this is where we came from. I don't remember these enemies spawning here though, so early. Maybe they spawn in here now that we've discovered them elsewhere. Yeah, that is where we came from, because then that's the grace point. Alright, I'm going to go this way then, in that case. See if there's a fire up here. Yes, there is. They don't even notice me. I just rode right past them on the fucking horse. And they're like... Go about your business. We do not know you are here. Lump of flesh. Okay, let's leave those behind. Okay, three more. Three more to find.
just gonna hug the walls at this point. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! These fucking land octopuses are aggressive. Alright, nothing's changed with the flames in there, so it's not tied to that room. Alright, I guess the other flames are further down, because that's the center with the snipers, magic snipers. All these trees have been like cut down at their tops to prevent them from getting, I guess, too tall, but I wonder what the, the story reason behind that is. Oh fuck. Oh, you can, okay, you can ride past it, that's good. You can ride past the, oh, the lightning. It is a bit stressful to do so. Uh, got some more dwelling arrows. Oh god. Oh god. There's more up there too. Oh yeah, that fire thing. That one there. We need that. There's birds down here. There's a Whoa! There's birds who also hang on the cliff face. Ah, it's in my arm! Ah! <laughs> Guys! God, those, these giant arrows, man. Whoa! He has one too. They have insane range. Like, insane range. And it looks like they just do not leave you alone either. They take forever to de-aggro, I think. Oh my god, look at them all. Bonk! Get bonked on, boy! Silly little chap! Get bonked upon! While I ride my magic steed. <laughs> Alright. Uh, two more, right? Two more to find. Which I assume... Uh, not those ones. Which I assume must be off on the side that we have not yet navigated. Oh, watch out for that. This way. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Even though I've never even used your turtleneck meat, I require it. Bonk. Oh, bonk. Bonk. Oh, my backside. Alright, I will rest here now. <laughs> I will rest at the side of grace. Um, wonderful. Now, our last two flame things should be up that way. How do we get up there, though? Look at that. We've got to be able to get up there. It can't just be like a location just to look amazing in the distance, right? They wouldn't do that to us. Smithing stone. I need more smithing stone level one. There's a fire. There's a fire thing up there. What are they doing? They're doing like a stomp? Oh god. Hmm, what are these what are they stomping at? Silly rat. Silly rat. Silly little rat. Oop, snipers. Snipers and rats. Oh, dude, they are insanely accurate, huh? So they can choose which arrows they want to shoot. It curves! That arrow curved! 
Whoa. They, they can shoot when, uh, choose which arrow they want to shoot. Clarifying horn charm. Oh, where are we? Oh, it's an imp statue. We got a clarifying horn charm. Is that a talisman? Does that count as a talisman? It is. Raises focus and a an accoutrement worn by the ancestral followers. Focus governs resistance to sleep and madness. Said to be a budding horn, the ancestral followers believe that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. So if I equip this, resistance to sleep and madness. I wonder if that's going to be relevant for, for this. Okay, a key to unlock this lift. Yeah, alright, a key to unlock this lift. We still need one more fire, however. One more th thing of fire. I thought it would be up here. Turns out something else. That tree is alive. Do you see that? Do you see that moving? Or is that just the environment glitching? Because that tree definitely moved. Hmm. Alright, where's the fire that... Where is the last fire thing? Oh, there's a side of Lost Grace. Oh, no! There's a side of Lost Grace, he says, as he proceeds to get fucking killed. I shouldn't have been crawling around there. That was stupid of me. Alright. <laughs> We can get back there, however. We'll get to the side of Grace. Just have to ride up again. And we'll see if there's the fire. One more fire thing? Because we've we've got one more to go. Don't go off the edge. They don't go off the edge! Yay! Oh, I thought, yes. Ash of War, square off. I thought it would be an Ash of War. This skill starts with the sword held level, follow up with a normal attack to slash upwards to an enemy's guard, or a strong attack to perform a running thrust. Ooh, hang on, there's something there for us to interact with, too. What is that? What I will point out about this is this thing. We've seen one of these before. Um, we've seen one of these when we went up here. And there was one to interact with, and it was like... Can't interact with it at this time? And I theorize that maybe, because I think Lanedale is the last place for us to go, according to Gideon, uh, we would, like, put the Elden Ring inside of it. Maybe we would open something. However, there's another one. And there's something going inside it. This looks like a portal to me. I'm gonna do this, uh... I'm gonna do this Grace first. Oh, there's the fire. There's our fire tower right there. I'm gonna do this thing first. What are they stomping at, I wonder? Okay, the fires are lit. The beacons of Gondor are lit. Oh, hang on. It just said something. Fuck, it just popped up with something down the bottom. It just popped up with something down the bottom and instantly disappeared. Because I fucking accidentally pressed something. Uh, something about powers. Something about powers? Uh, I'm annoyed that that didn't stay for long. Visit this site of Grace, please. Look at these fucking arrows in me, bro. Look at these fucking arrows. Lost Grace discovered. Hmm. Well, obviously, I, it's tied to those pillars. Obviously, it's tied to those pillars. Below the well. It's tied to those pillars. What does it mean, however? I do not know. I'm annoyed that I missed the... I'm annoyed that I missed the text pop-up there, though. 
Whoa, I just did not even fucking look up there and realize that there is a whole structure above us right now. What the fuck? Can I put some distance between me and this for a sec? Let's look at this thing. What is that? It's like upside down tower. Okay, so we've got a well. Apparently this lost side of grace is uh, below the well. And now we've got a thing over here that we can examine. So I'm going to examine that. Oh yeah. Let me turn... Oh, I'm in battle so I can't open the map. I was just going to get rid of that beacon. Oh, this battle music is so cool. Alright, where's that thing? There it is. Okay, let's see this thing. Travel to another location. I, th I, w I told you, like, this looks like a portal. It looks like a transport thing. You just look at it, stuff's going in it. Where's it going to take us, though? Is it just going to take us, like, over there? Oh, it's going to take us to... Like a place in the same area that we can't get to on foot. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, there's another one just right here. How did I not see this one? How did I not see this one? This one's right here. Oh, wow. Well, that took us back home. Okay, I thought it was going to take us, like, up into a tower or something. I'm also wondering if the direction you face matters. Is there just is there just two of them? Maybe maybe you had to do the one that was further away first to activate this one. That's why I didn't see the light source coming from it. Who knows? There we go. Okay, so you can travel. All right, I'm gonna examine it from this side and see what happens. Just to theory craft if maybe we travel depending on the the direction we face or whether it's uh, to a fixed spot. It's all right, it's to a fixed spot. Cool. So, we figured out what that is. It's a little teleporter thing. That's neat. We've lit the flames. So now we can see what this means. Uh, I'm going to quickly rest at our, that side of grace, actually. Because obviously we're closer to this one. Uh, and then, we'll check out that well. By using uh, one of those keys. Alright, let's rest here. So this will be our last side of grace. Now, what I said about this last time, what I said about this when we were here, is I'm like, I feel like that's going to be a boss. I feel like it's going to be a fight. I mean, it's framed like a fight. Will I be pleasantly surprised, or will it be what I expect? Ooh, it's glowing now. It's glowing now. Touch horned remains. Uh, pff, no context teleportation? Okay. To a giant fog wall. <laughs> a straight up no context teleportation. No animation, just fade to black, here you are. Here's a, here's a stake of, uh, stake of Marika. Let's go. <laughs> uh, okay. Who's our Who's our boss? Oh, hang on. Who's our boss? The ancestor spirit. I can't. Okay, no mount allowed. Whoa! Wow. It has the ability to do all of the jumps! Like... 
But it has, it can do a lot of jumps. It can do a lot more than I can. This music is beautiful, guys. This music is so beautiful. Can't figure out whether locking on is a good idea or not. It is and it isn't, you know? Oh, God. I'm not good at the timing on that one, am I? I should have done that at the beginning of the fight. I keep I keep fucking up the timing for that one because I'm anticipating the side swipe, which is much faster, not the headward charge. That's alright, not bad for a first attempt. The music in that fight, this is this is a really beautiful fight. I I really like the idea of how well the music matches an ancestral spirit fight. It's very, very fitting. And I really like it. I really like it. The ancestor spirit. Look at this arena. Alright, let's do our strength and stamina at the beginning of the fight. has the same ability that Torrent does. I think that's so beautiful. Oh! I didn't expect the second hit to kill me like that. Shit! I did not expect to, to get killed. Damn. Eee. I felt like that was a good attempt as well. We were doing really well, except for that fucking second smack. I should have, uh... I should have backstepped and healed. I was about to heal, but yeah, like I said, I didn't expect to die. Oh, I got lucky that time. Still not getting, still not figuring out the timing on that one. I jumped instead of dodging.
No. Oh, what? Why did I do that for? That was silly. What did I do that for? That was just. That was just dumb of me. My brain stopped working there. <laughs> oh man. That would have been a. Honestly, it would have been good if we just first tried this one, put it under our belt. It felt like we could have done it. I just made a silly little mistake. Silly little mistake. I love my character in this game as well. I love how he fits in this world for me. I really like it. It just really goes with my sort of mentality that I am some, like, lone wandering swordsman from a distant land, you know? The lone wandering swordsman from a distant land in this, in this goddamn beautiful world. And I cannot get a... <laughs> I cannot... get close to him at the, uh, in this one. Oh, again with the stampede. I feel like we got we've been getting lucky <laughs> to avoid that one. Oh no, what oh, don't fuck this up at the end, man. <laughs> don't fuck this up at the end. There we go. Ancestral follower ashes, dude. Ancestral follower ashes. There we go. Interesting that you can get rewarded from bosses with these ashes to, to summon, which is really cool. We haven't done that, and I do want to do it. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell, used to summon the spirit of an ancestral follower. A spirit of the horned folk who eschew letters and metalworking. Brawny, yet versed in distinctive spiritual arts, this particular tribesman wields a heavy bow. Still can't wield... I still can't call Torrent even after the boss fight. Just want to run around this area. Look how massive this arena is. That was a really beautiful fight. That was a really beautiful fight. Like, fighting an ancient spirit of, like, this, this place is very, very beautiful. And I love how this environment 
could suit a variety of different enemy types depending on what you were faced with. Like if you were to tell me that this is like a place where you fight a dragon, you you'd believe it. You know, you could fight a dragon in here like Med like Medea. You know. I'm looking to see if there's a anything around here. I'm assuming the center should have our like our lost grace, right? Our way out of here. Oh, hang on. There we go. There's our way out. There it is. Go back. There you go. We can now go back. Okay, if we touch the remains, we're still we're just taken back here. Okay, so we're now here on the map apparently. Okay. I just wanted to have a look and see if like touching it after the battle did something. There's the way out. It's such a big arena to just <sighs> Just trying to get out of here. Trying to go back. Okay. So, six fires in an area giving you a an optional, I assume optional boss on the Hallowhorn grounds. How cool is that? So, that's this that's the the ancestral the ancestral beast right there. So it was actually a boss fight, just not in the way that I expected it to go. I was like, that that beast's gonna wake up. Instead, we go to almost like maybe like a, a we have like a spiritual experience, and are taken over there instead. And now we can go through this teleporter, which so obviously stands out to me now. And we'll go to this well. We'll use one of our stone keys. Our stone sword keys. And check it out. Man, this game really is something, huh? We're going to run up to this lost point of grace as well. So we can level up. Because we've got quite a few runes now. After defeating that boss. Don't hit me. You leave me be. Okay. Let's rest and level up. Let's put some points in. We haven't level up in a, in a while, you know? So we're still level 32. Um, I think what I'll do... So I'll get myself... We'll put one into stamina and one into dexterity. Now let's go and have a look at this well. It makes... It really makes me wonder... If that's a location or whether it's just beautiful. You know? Like maybe... Maybe we will have to come back. Maybe we will have to come back here to like, I don't know, potentially like, gain the ability to like, c like, get higher up and go over here, or like, traverse these places. Like, there was a person that we saw in the, in the distance, so that, and that ancestral enemy that we faced, that boss, could jump like Torrent could. I was actually expecting, I was like, maybe if we beat this boss, we'll get like an upgrade for Torrent's like, jump. Like, that would have been awesome. Wait a minute. Stone sword key was lost with use. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, this one used two. This one took two to use. Maybe I didn't... I wasn't paying attention that the cost would be two. Because I'm pretty sure the cost is only supposed to be one. Oh, we're going up, not down. 
we're going up, not down. Because uh, it said it was a well. I expected us to be going down. Well, now it makes sense that we're below the well, because the well is above us, quite literally, not in the sense that it was just, like, a location right next to us. Look how fast we are going. We're in Kaled. The deep Sofra well. Oh, fuck, there's our map fragment. Oh, fuck. Huh. That's a shortcut to Kaled. Oh, shit. So that shortcut costed us a couple of stone sword keys. There's an Erd tree here as well. Oh my god, the blood red sky! And there's more of these! Creepy caterpillar with eyes, man! It's so bloodborne! Because they've got eyes! And it's red! That means it's bloodborne! <laughs> That's a Bloodborne reference! Alright, so we have to get... I'm going to place a beacon there. Because that's our map fragment. Oh, wow. Of course the well was going to go up, not down. We were already underground, eh? Hey? Is this where we should go? <laughs> Do you reckon we could take on Kaled now? God, I hate these things with a passion. Look at these fucking things. Look at the eyeball. Look at it looking at us, man. And then they're, they're gonna blow up. Because these ones blow up. And these ones just stand there. Oh, ominously looking. Not my first rodeo with you bad boys. Oh, do you see how its eye opens when you approach it? You see that? Its eye is closed. And then you get up to it. Ready? Ugh. It's so simple, yet so fucking creepy. Literally detonates upon seeing you. Alright, we're going around quite an interesting way. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my fucking god. Magic explosion. Dude, it's these things, except this is a fucking archery version. Oh god. Gravel stones. Oh my god. Okay, don't keep going for me. Ah! Oh, I got a shield. Alright, Shadow of the Colossus, let's go. another one over there, because I can see it. Alright, we picked up a shield. Holy crap, guys. <laughs> Spiked Palisade Shield. A large wooden shield covered with spikes. Though relatively light, it lacks in damage negation. Designed to perform shield bashes, these attacks riddle the enemy with holes, earning it the nickname of Pard Shield. 
shield bash skill. Okay. Uh, fucking, this is a game, isn't it? Bit of a game that we're playing here. What are these materials? Because um, there was a gravel stone, which I think was a new one. Look at all the death here. Everything's dead. <laughs> oh no. I uh, why am I why am I not on my horse right now? Why am I not on my horse? <laughs> why am I not on my horse right now? <laughs> oh you can raise the torch. LB with torch equipped raises the torch. Why for oh, okay. Thanks for the useful tip, loading screen. You can do the do that. Alright, now is this a one time enemy or does it respawn? Let's find out. I'd feel like it's... It's a respawning enemy! I was literally about to say I feel like it's a one-time gig. It's a respawning enemy. Wow. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh god, I didn't even notice! Are you... Are you seeing the giant pot in front of that thing? You see the giant pot? What the fuck? I didn't even notice! Look at that! That's a giant fucking pot! What the fuck? Oh! Oh, the other one! There's a straight up killed torrent! Oh my god! Look at these giant arrows! Oh shit! Alright, we should have dealt- Fuck, we made a mistake. We should have dealt with it the slow way. Uh, that is a giant fucking pot. Oh! Look at that! Look at that! Can we sneak underneath it? Okay. Okay. We have to push past them by taking them out slowly. Oh, there's a. I think there's a map thing around there as well. I think we missed the map. Because we're too busy getting shot at by fucking giant magical arrows. This game is so funny. Because it's like. I'm just like traveling through this place and it's just like, there's all of this. There's all of this out here. And we're just up here at the moment, just fucking around. So we died here, going to whatever this is, but it looks like you can potentially go up that way. I don't know. How do we get to that map fragment? I don't know. Quickly, quickly torrent. Okay. Oh, the fire breath! Shit! <laughs> I was like, what is it doing? I know we haven't taken it down already. Okay, can you, can you let me get a heavy attack off? Let me add some variety into this. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Was he like- it was like lying flat. Oh. Of course. I'm stuck.
Uh, Alright, we got one. We got him. Now we just have to get the other one. Now the other one. Or oh, we can fuck off around this side. Is it just me, or does he not have weakened legs? They're not glowing. I mean, we're doing damage to him, but it looks like his arms are the weak points. The arms are the ones that are glowing. I'm gonna just keep attacking him, because it does do damage. There you go. Oh, that does... Oh, that does massive damage. There you go. More great arrows acquired. Look at this location. Look at all this stuff over there. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Look at that thing! That is a giant pot. That is a giant pot. Alright, no threat of, uh... No threat of giant... Arrow shooting enemies. And look over there! Look at these towers, man. We're in Mordor right now, with penguins on the f on the ground. All right, please tell me this pot is not sentient, but in fact just standing there as decor, because this is fucked. It's massive. Please don't be an enemy. <gasps> Talk. You're a fucking NPC. Are you kidding me? Do I need an emote for you? Do I need to also cross my arms to talk to you? Rapture. <laughs> oh, giant fucking pot. Take me to heaven. <laughs> giant pot. Take me. No, I can't unequip the shield while I'm in emote mode. It's just break, it's just clipping through. <laughs> Please! Wait a minute. Whoa. Hang on. What the fuck? Talking to you? Did talking to you do this? Whoa, look at these designs. Hang on a second, sir. Did those signs appear because I spoke to you? Huh. The way is sealed. Whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell am I looking at, man? What in the what in the fucking what in the fucking world? <laughs> what in the fucking world? Caleb is nuts. How do I get over there? Okay, where are these? Where are these signs? Are they are they still on the ground? They're no longer. Oh, there they are. I think I I think I just went right over them. Knight of the Grey Jar, summon this adversary. Knight of the Grey Jar. Knight of the Grey Jar. Summon this adversary. Do I have to fight? Ah. Do I have to beat them in combat to gain the pot's favor? 
interesting. I want to see if I can get over here somewhere. Because if I die, I have to do the... If I die, I have to do the fucking thing with these giants again. But I don't think that there's a pathway out of here. I might have to go... Hmm. Alright. Fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's see how strong they are. We have some foes to face. Can I do it while I'm on horseback? Look at that hammer, dude. Can't go on horseback while summoning an adversary. Duelist Knight of the Grey Jar. Whoa. Okay. One shotted. One shotted, and we did no damage to him. He looks like he's wearing the Fallen Knight armor from Dark Souls 3. Okay. We'll come back later because they are one shot. One-shot adversaries. That's fun. Oh, there's a whole path off to the left as well. So we can go off that way too if we want. Um, Alright, we're gonna go... We're gonna do the stupid journey of trying to get my runes. And then we're gonna come back. Uh, so we have to get strong enough to kill those three knights of the Great Jar and then see what happens. So that's also something that we need to do. Um, so I'm just going to mark this as uh, with a skull. <laughs> I'm just going to mark that with a skull for later. So not only is it protected by these fucking things, not only is it protected by these fucking things, there's three knights. And they are strong. So he awaits, uh, he awaits someone to be suitable for, for victory, it seems. Uh, I can't believe I survived that. He awaits someone to be suitable for victory. Now I have to go back. <laughs> oh shit. Because the item that we have to go back home uh, loses all runes <laughs> to go back. Okay, so the beacon is up there. That gave some health to our poor boy. Alright, we ride back. I guess the thing about this that will be fine is as long as we are running back, we are bringing our runes closer to home each time. You know? Bringing our runes closer to home each time, it'll be easier in case we do die. I think we'll make it. Because this guy's not even paying attention. Wow. Well, ain't this, ain't this something, guys? Yes, alright, we made it. We got our runes. <laughs> How much does it cost for us to... How much does it cost for us to level up now? It feels so silly that we are here. But I love the exploration. It's honestly so great. I think once you get past Stormvale and you get your first great rune, and then they go, Alright guys, the world has opened up for you. Go have fun. I feel like that is kind of like the beautiful thing about it. Like, I don't feel any stress 
any uh, sort of obligation or pull to be stuck on like any sort of path or go a particular way. The game is very good in that sense where it has this very freeing sense of exploration that I, that I really, really love and appreciate. Uh, unlike, you know, games that might try and always stress you out by not being on the path that you're like meant to, you know what I mean? So this is, this is really good. Because I'm just like, oh, we're here and like, we can just do this as long as we're not getting our asses kicked by whatever the fuck that is, then we'll be fine. Is this a bear or is this something else? Because this doesn't look like a bear. But it could be. Yeah, you're a bear. Hi, big boy. Hi, big boy. Oh, God. That's also... Uh, oh, revival location. A stake of America. Is there America down? Is there America down the bottom? Where the fuck are we? Uh... Uh... My runes are there? Why is there a stake of America here? Okay, what? Uh... What? Look at that. Fucking Maleficent's Castle type shit. Ah, uh, I guess I'll go this way. And maybe I'll end up back at my runes. It looks like it was in like a canyon of some sort, like this. With a for goddamn land octopus. Yeah, here we go. This is where we died. Okay. Nice. But our runes are going to be upstairs. So that's not good. <laughs> Our runes are upstairs. Glintstone fireflies. Look how bright this is. Glintstone. Uh, what is this? What is this thing? Oh my god, look at all the faces! What are you, what, what's the bet you reckon this is either madness or sleep as an effect? Look at the eyes! What is it? What's the symbol? Is there any symbol? Oh, there's no symbol appearing. It's just a giant orb to ponder. Yeah, look, it's not doing anything to us. I'm confused. Giant orb, I ponder you. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now it did damage to us. What the fuck? I'm so confused. Now it did damage to us only after. Confused, but okay. Alright, so our runes are up there. We can at least go back to there to get them back. And then apparently there's a stake of America up there. There's another map piece there. Fucking, I'm just trying to get there and I'm ending up in a completely different spot. Alright, let's travel back to that well so I can get my runes back. Oh, actually, there's not even that many runes, because I leveled up. Why do I want to do that? God, I didn't really think about that, did I? I was like, yeah, it's actually not that many runes. I don't really care about that. Oh well. Let's run back through here anyway. Oh, it does rain here. There you go. It rains in hell. Good to know. Alright, you reckon I can get down here safely? Without dying? <laughs> nope. It's a shame that you take fall damage still on Torrent, isn't it? It is a little bit... It is a little bit of a shame that you do take fall damage. Because it, it seems like you wouldn't, because you'd fall and then you break your fall a bit. And then you can land. Anyway, we don't need to go back down there anymore, so... Look at this giant one. Holy fuck, look at this giant one. Yes! Oh, we don't get any items for that? Okay. What is shooting stuff? Is there anything... What is, what is all the explosions happening? Fucking Bloodborne again. I don't think I want to be here. <laughs> I don't like it here. It's fucking awful. I think 
part of me does feel like it's too early. Part of me feels like I don't I don't want to be in Kaled just yet because there's all of this that I've yet to to uncover. So I feel pretty confident and happy of us doing this downstairs. But as soon as we got up here, I'm like, oh, get me the fuck out. We'll do Kaled. We'll do Kaled later. By the way, of which there is still shit out there. Wait a minute. The map has increased in size even further out there. What the fucking hell? It just keeps like opening it up. God damn. I'm gonna go back to Mistwood because we need to do this. We need to do this thing. I'm going back to the Mistwood outskirts. <laughs> We're gonna go to the fort for um for Kenneth ha uh, Kenneth Height. Kenneth Kenneth Height needs us to do. Uh, a job for him and uh, we accepted that job but then we also got immediately very very sidetracked into doing really cool stuff <laughs> so for a change of scenery we'll push ahead and I have an interesting thought about this as well for this type of game is I do something in this game that I haven't done in previous from software uh, playthroughs and when I that thing is when I enter a new area when I'm in a spot that obviously isn't completely, uh, you know, outside of my skill level, you know, when I enter a place that's like I can actually complete it, I will stay there until I can complete it. Because you push through in like a sort of linear fashion through through the games, um, and I stay there and I make sure I kill the boss even if I'm headbutting against it. And we and we push through because I like to keep segments contained to specific episodes instead of going. Oh, I'll come back here later and struggling and oh, I'll come back here later and struggling, you know um, This is a little different in the sense where you can like dabble you can poke your head into an area and go Oh, what's this like? Maybe I'll go back and explore over here, and I don't feel that same sort of uh, Pressure to remain in an area in this game. I just am just like let's just Let's just see what feels right. You know what I mean? Let's just pick a direction and see what feels right. And then at the same time, like, I've got, like, you guys here with me, like, watching along, playing along while I go through this area, and we, we're making discoveries together, you know what I mean? And it's awesome. Okay, let's have a look. Let's go to this fort. I love the Mistwood, so cool. Now we did, there was a spirit here that was like calling out for, for Kenneth. Asking where he was. Oh shit. Oh, there's a baluster up there, shooting at these enemies. Yep, look at that. No baluster shall attack me. Oh, fuck! Hello! Oh, it's attacking the other ones! <laughs> oh, God. It's attacking the other ones. Alright, hold on. Ooh! Ah! Ooh! Eee! You there. You're ruining this fight. You're ruining the fight with your long-range antics. Nice. So I love how they're just normal. They're just normal enemies after you we've already encountered one that's actually like the boss. I love the unsheath ability. So much fun. It's the Sekiro lover in me. It's so good. Ah, we have a golden seed. It's been a while. It's like, that is like Ichimonji, you know? Like, that's like the Ichimonji attack. And we can do that for Ashina Cross in the Ashina Arts. So cool. Okay. We'll find a piece of Lost Grace and we'll be able to heal ourselves for seven flasks. Fort Height. Oh wow, it's got these guys in it, except they're enemies again. Look at this giant fucking thing. What the fuck? 
Look at that! You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Oh! Don't do it to me! Don't let me get killed by rats and weaklings by being an idiot. Don't allow me to die here. I refuse. I will not die here! I refuse, sir. Get fucking arrowed. Get fucking arrowed! I fucking love that I have uh, a longbow. That's another cool thing, like, I just, like, really haven't gotten into doing, like, long-range stuff in Souls games outside of magic, so it's really cool to actually utilize a bow, and it feels really good to do it in this game as well. We could just have run up here and killed him as well, but... We could also do it with an arrow. Oh god, hello. Whoa! What the fuck? Blood blade! Holy shit! You're a badass! Okay, I need my shield. God, counter, bitch! Ash of War, bloody slash! Dude, it's literally a fucking Sekiro ninjutsu ability. My god. I want this. Bloody slash, the Ash of War grants an ornament, the blood affinity, and the following skill. Blood Oath skill granted by the Lord of Blood. From a low stance, coat the blade in your own blood to unleash a rendering blood slash in a wide arc. Usable on swords. Colossal weapons accepted. Dude. A Blood Rose. That's a, that's an item crafting, I think. Blood Rose, yeah. Blood slick roses that bloom in blood-soaked soil. Particularly beloved by those who serve the Lord of Blood. Glory to his inevitable reign. Um, is this a Bloodborne fort? What's going on here? There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood talk happening here. Uh, what is Kenneth Height not telling us about this? Is there a... Is there a princess in this castle? Is there a princess in this tower? Am I about to Fiona this shit? Am I about to be the Shrek to this tower's Fiona? I hope so. I hope so! Oh, please don't. Okay, just please be a chest. Thank you. Ooh, a Dectus Medallion. The left side. A Dectus Medallion. Join medallions to operate the Grand Lift of Dectus. Left half of a split medallion, depicting the Erd Tree. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Dectus, connecting the Altus Plateau to Leonia. The right half is said to reside in Fort Faroth in the Dragon Barrow, far to the east. So there's another fort where you will find the other one. In the Dragon Barrow, far to the east. All the way off this side somewhere. It's crazy that, like, over here, this is where Leonia is, because we walked out here, and so Leonia's over there. <laughs> and that's just another place. That's just a whole other area. Look at the size of up here. I don't even... I try not to think about it. <laughs> I try not to think about it, because... Look, look, at, look at us down here. Look at us down here. And I still need to go and do all of this. I still... There's still more over here. Like... I feel like we're really like the further you play, it doesn't it it doesn't get smaller, it gets bigger, which is the opposite of what I usually feel when I'm playing these games. Is you get used to it and you go, oh, this game's getting smaller now as I know all the like locations and how it's going. We're exploring more areas and that connective tissue of going, oh wow, this is here and this is there, but it's still massive. <laughs> it's still massive. In fact you get overwhelmed at the sheer scale of it all. Like, it it gets bigger in a sense. Get fucking prolapsed. It's crazy. Um, let's go up this way. So we've cleared the... F we need to go inside the base. We haven't cleared the fort yet. I got ahead of myself there. We haven't fully completed this. 
Ah, another smithing stone number one, thank you. And look at this giant thing! Look at that! Look at that thing! What the hell even is that? What does it mean? You know? Oh. What does it mean? Another blood rose. Ooh, and you can harvest blood rose here as well. This is a very cool, cool location. Let's go in the fort. Hello. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook number six. Ah, oh, all right, we've cleared the fort. <laughs> fort cleared. Blood grease, drawstring blood grease, blood bone. Oh, sorry, blood bone. I got super excited then. <laughs> I thought I literally read blood bone. Blood bone arrow. Blood bone arrow. And a blood bone bond. <laughs> <gasps> the Bloodborne. Alright, fort cleared. Let's go speak to Kenneth and be like, Yo, bruh. I don't know what the fuck you got going on in there and I don't want to know. Uh, but we have we have done what you asked. We have cleared your fort, sir. Let's go ride through the mistwood and let him know. I love that each location in this world as well seems to have its own sort of like overworld theme. It's like this is like Limgrave's theme that plays in the open world and it's really nice. But when we're down in, um, when we were underground, it has its own little ominous theme, you know? That's the bear. Steak of Marika. Um, where's this NPC? Because I made the mistake of not... I think he's here. I made the mistake of not marking him on the map, but I'm pretty sure he is one of these... He's one of these two. I think he's that one, actually. Just go straight ahead. That bear really just scratching that tree. Oh, there's another one. Oh, you're onto really, you're on, you're on me. You're onto me, yeah. You are... God, there's so many bears in the mistwood. Am I still on track? Kind of. Oh, there's some grace here. Yeah, there he is. I can see him in the distance. I saw him still standing up there. Oh, this is just the mistwood outskirts. This is not a new one at all. There he is. I see him standing up there. Sir, I've cleared your fort. What will you do for me this day? Okay, while we're here, because I don't know if you're going to move, but just in case, I am going to put this on the map. I've learned how to use markers recently because... I haven't actually marked any NPCs that we found out this way, which is actually a problem. Like, Stormhill Shack, pretty sure there's a person there. Can't remember, however, if there is a person there. But there is people out there, and I have unfortunately neglected to mark these locations with NPCs. I'm doing that more recently. I'll have to revisit those areas just to double check them all. I've been waiting for you with bated breath. Yeah, I took I took some time. Capture my fort. Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. Erdsteel dagger. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the demi-humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Erd Tree, co-mingling with the demi-humans is made possible. Even the vulgar shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Interesting. Um, so, demi-humans. 
which might explain that giant beast dead at the bottom of the uh, of the fort. Ah, yes. I've uh, I've been meaning to ask. Would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? I'm going to assume that this might be this game's covenant uh, slash oath swearing thing pledging our service to mr mr blood man you want to pledge service to mr blood man let's find out the story of this this is our first offer in our first playthrough of joining uh someone so i'm gonna do it and we'll find out what the story holds with uh with this he's very interesting so let's pledge service very well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. Damn. Samurai is about to become a knight. Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. Okay, so he's going back to the fort. Of which we, there's no, there must be some grace around here that, that I must have missed to make this a little bit easier. <laughs> On running through, let me travel to the Waypoint Ruin Cellar. Alright, if he's going to return to the fort, probably can just remove that marker. Because he'll go to the fort instead. Alright, let's travel to the Waypoint Ruins and I'll just jump down and ride on in. Because that should reset the location. That should reset the location, and we'll have a chat to him. So yeah, we're, we're at a point where we're doing some NPC storyline stuff, which is cool. Oh shit, the flower enemy does exist, okay. Uh, which direction am I running in? I can't open the map because we're in combat. This way. To the fort! It's a flying scarab. There's flying versions. Oh, no, it drops down onto the ground. <laughs> I was like, there's flying versions. So cool. And now we ride up to the fort. Imagine this just being your sky every day. It's crazy. We ride up to the fort. The fort height. Hang on, we can't take our horse in here. Oh. Hang on a minute. Are you all enemies? Are you enemies or are you friends? Yeah, you're enemies. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, um... I'm like, are you guys all going to be on my side now? Because I pledged service to Kenneth? No, you've overrun the fort. Okay. I was really looking forward to potentially making friends with you on behalf of Kenneth, but no. That's that's not a thing that happens. Okay. Up we go.
Oh, the baluster's gone. There you are. Hello. Sir, your friends attacked me down below. Ah, you, is it? Well, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my foot. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. And one must be found with haste. And not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology. But now, I must begin my search post-haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Oh. I must begin my sort of true and... Okay. Interesting. Um, okay, I guess this is on pause for now. But there you go. We've taken over this fort. For Kenneth. <laughs> There's so much more to do. <laughs> There's so much more to do! I love this. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Elden Ring. We will bring this one to a close. Next time, I am pretty adamant on exploring the south region. I'm pretty set on going down here and finding more. And going to Castle Morn. So I think we have our sights set on here next time. Thank you so much for watching. This has been an absolute pleasure. As always, I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. And I'll see you next time.